All right, my friends, welcome back. We are now currently testing out the Thrustmaster TLCM pedals on um, on some rallies. So here we go. I would have added this into the uh, to the regular video, but I wanted to do some some side videos on these too. I'm going to do a bunch of videos on the TCLMs. Uh, we're still on the PS5 though. We're still on the PS5, so we are going to be testing this for a little while longer with just stock settings out of the box. Um, I wanted to be able to to, to test the uh, to test those settings first, you know, to to kind of give people an idea of what of what to uh, think about. I did map my uh, my e-brake over to the uh, over to my uh, <clears throat> to my paddle shifter, but. For the most part, like the overall brake pedal and stuff is very, very nice, actually. Actually, these freaking brakes are so worth the money, man. They're like $249 <clears throat> on Amazon. There will be a link in the description of this video. These are so worth it. Oh, no can't hear my freaking driver my co-driver because i'm not paying attention so let me pay attention so we can and i'll talk about this after the race don't cut there's rocks right there we did it anyways I freaking love this stage, Kenya. This is seven. Trying to get a feel for how these are going to work on, on sim. They just, they feel so much more accurate. Like, they're a lot they're a lot more they're a lot more like pliable not pliable but they're a lot more like consistent overall like you get like that's the biggest thing i guess with load cell is you get a more consistent um experience every single time um obviously you know with the with the with the load cell you're getting you know the amount of pressure you put on there depending after <clears throat> is always going to be pretty much the same um output or whatever versus like you know trying to just you know get a muscle memory for a spring and stuff like when you push the brake pedal a little bit you get you get what you put into it <sighs> see like you can be a lot more controlled with a load cell pedal and you can actually yeah a lot freaking a lot more <laughs> yeah this is good oh boy Like you can apply more equal brake pressure too. Like it's, it, it's really, it's really good. Like this is good. Yeah, a lot more controlled in, in the overall braking. You could be a lot more controlled, a lot more deliberate. <clears throat> six left yeah i love that especially on rally like this this one feels really really good with with grand turismo it felt <clears throat> i mean it felt good on turismo 
<clears throat> in acetyl corsa, but on this, <clears throat> it feels feels even uh, feels a little bit more like like th it affects my overall rally it, a lot more positive than than what it was affecting those. Like those are pretty straight and forward, straight straightforward, but rally is a completely different type of. Uh, like you're you're using regular brakes, you're using e brakes. I feel like I don't need to. I, I feel like I can I can push it down like a certain amount and get the the slow the slow down that I actually want to where I'm not over slowing down. Like I'm just you know essentially like trail braking to a to an extent to where I can uh, to where I can control where I can have better control over the car. Okay, so I guess I lied. I wasn't listening. That's that freaking tree that you come around that freaking corner and you run into that tree. I feel like a, a, just a little bit longer of, of playing around with these and I'll be completely used to it. And these aren't even, these aren't even, I haven't even hooked them up to the PC just yet to, uh, to do anything like that. I will be hooking them up here pretty soon and get a, get a feeling on the same game on the PC version to see how that, to see how that works after I, after I'm able to, to like really dial in like the, the settings and stuff. Yeah, like these things are great. It's a lot easier to like talk while you're driving and kind of explain what you're feeling. Cause when you like, watch when I like hit it hard, it, it, I can like kind of turn with it and it'll pull my car into that slide a lot better than it, than it used to before. Like I can just tap them and get that car to start moving and turning. Almost kind of like doing it with the e-brake, but just for the front tires. Oh, that's what happens when you slam the brakes all the way down. You just slide. I feel like I was Obviously, I was better before because I was concentrating on that, but now I'm like trying to play around with the brakes and see what my tolerances and stuff are. Get a little bit of feeling for these. Because normally I've trained myself on like these rally games, how to use throttle control and stuff and not, not necessarily always be on the brake. So I'm, I'm actually like trying to utilize the brake a lot more than what I normally would. No! See, I'm like holding down the brakes. I shouldn't even be touching those brakes normally. Like it locks up my tires on here pretty well. Okay, hold on a minute. We're gonna we're gonna like retry this. We're gonna restart this just so that you guys can. Oh gosh, dang it! <clears throat> and I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna actually like pay attention and show you guys what it could be done.
Well, except we're right there, apparently. Ooh, dang. Sorry guys, I gotta get rid of that freaking ghost. Three left, keep in, 
Oh, sheesh. I feel like these pedals are going to help me get significantly more consistent on rally games because you like it's like every time you come through a track it's it's like different but I feel like these are going to make this <clears throat> a lot easier to get consistent more.
Oh, sheesh. I don't know what the heck was going on over there. I think this here is like one of the uh, the harder tracks on here. Yeah, so, so like the way I'm looking at it is like the, the load cell is definitely making it so that I can be more, sorry, let me move this camera up just a little bit, is making it so that I can be more consistent with my braking. Um, definitely gonna take a little while to get used to though, because my muscle memory and everything is just like so like used to just like pushing down the pedal like <clears throat> like way far on certain corners and and like i'm trying to like rework that that muscle memory in there because you don't need to push it down as far now so this is interesting guys like i will keep playing around with this i'll keep getting better and i will keep making content to try to show you guys that load cells are definitely worth your time and investment and i do really believe that they're going to help you get significantly faster so all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one